Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And um, there are many thoughts in my mind. And one of the things that captured my mind very, very powerfully is the story in 1 Samuel chapter 16, where God specifically said to Samuel, God specifically spoke to Samuel. He said, listen, go to Bethlehem of Judah to a, a man named Jesse. I have chosen a son to be king after, after, after Saul. And he says, go to that house and I will show you, and I will show you the person I have chosen. The oil will find you. That's the title of this morning's message. The oil will find you. Now here's the, the point. Someone gets to the house of, of Jesse and Jesse says, oh, he tells Jesse, call all your sons and Jesse, called seven sons and left one out. And he left that one out. And the interesting thing about it is that then Jesse began to introduce them by firstborn. And the firstborn was a lamb. Now here's what God said. Listen to what God said to Samuel. Go to the house of Jesse. Ask him to call his sons and I will show you the one. I, God, will show you the one. But then this is what Samuel did. The Bible said immediately Samuel saw a lamb a stature, whatever it is, someone said, surely, a prophet said, surely, this must be the man. Now God said, I will show you. And then someone gets to the place and sees somebody, and then he says, surely, this must be the man. And then God came and said, no, 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 he's not the guy. He's not the man. And this thing. I told you I will show you a man. He said, listen, if I leave it to your choice, he said, you look on the outward appearance, you look on the things, that's not, but I look deep down. I look into the heart. So a, a prophet who was under instructions that I'm going to show you somebody, he goes there, throws away divine direction, throws away divine authority, throws away divine directives, and then says, I have seen a man. He, he catches my fancy. He is tall. He is this. He is that. And then he says, surely this must be the man. A prophet saying, I am sure this must be the man. Then God says, no. There are a couple of principles here. Number one. Do you know that sometimes prophets can even make a mistake? The Bible says, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part. So there's no absolute truth with, with any ministry. There's no absolute truth. There's no, and sometimes you have to give, people are fallible. Samuel was sent to prophesy, and he made a mistake. So no, the first principle is that, listen, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. That's what Corinthians says. We know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect comes, then we'll be able to do everything perfectly. But until then, we need to give room for people's mistakes. And here's the, here's the interesting thing. Samuel's choice was by what he saw. And God said, no, 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 no. I said I will show you the person. I'm investigating the heart of somebody. I've investigated and I found the person. And then you out of the outward, because man looks on the outward appearance, you by virtue of the outward, you choose. How sad it is. You get it? And so someone was going to place the oil on the wrong person. And God said no. And he did it several times. And until on the seventh one, God, uh, someone said, are these all your sons? He said, there's one on the backside of the desert. And go, he said, go bring him. You know one thing? The oil will find you. The oil that God has for you. What God wants, no one can steal it. No one can appropriate it for the person's self. And that's one of the say, uh, uh, somebody say, what can come, can come. <laughs> but here is the thing. The oil will find you. When God has your name on his purpose, when God has your destiny on, in his books, when God says it's your time, no one, everyone may try to impersonate you. Even the prophet can make a mistake and even the father can forget that he has a son because he was asked to bring all his sons and he brought just seven and he left one out. I, can, I came to tell you that the oil will find you. The purposes of God are yea and amen. And he knows when he sent forth his word, that word would accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. 
There's no way anyone else can take that thing away. It is impossible. It will find you. So I came to let you know that no matter what it is, no matter, you can be overlooked by the Father, you can be wrongly this thing, uh, uh, described by the prophet, or whatever it is, once the oil, then the oil will find you. One way or the other, God knows how to do things. And then here's the point. We keep looking on the outward appearance. And sometimes what is outward can be deceptive. And God said, I, have a, I don't want him because I know his heart. So Elam, even though he, was, he had all the qualities, his heart was not right. And later on in 1 Samuel chapter 17, you will see where his heart was. His heart was judgmental. His heart was envious. His, his heart was a jealous heart, and his heart was a, a downgrading heart, a, a, a superiority complex, this thing, accusation. This was Eliab's heart. And God said, I know this guy. I know this guy. He won't give space to whatever I'm about to do. I can't make him king. You know one thing? The oil that God intended for your life, the anointing, the purpose will find you. See you later.